You've probably heard about this guy, Albert Einstein, the world-renowned genius who formulated this equation in 1905. Well, did you know that there was one problem, one riddle in particular, that really stumped him? Let's see how you fare on the exact same problem. Consider yourself in a car on a trip over a symmetric hill with a one-mile uphill segment and a one-mile downhill. You go 15 miles per hour on the ascents. Knowing this, how fast do you need to go on the descent in order to average speed of 30 miles per hour for the entire two-mile trip? Come to your answer before I reveal the answer in three, two, one. All right, let's work through the calculations. Remember, you want to go, on average, 30 miles per hour on the two-mile trip, so we can set up the equation. 30 miles per hour equals 2 miles over t, the amount of time spent on the trip. Rearranging to solve for time, we get t equals 2 miles over 30 miles per hour, which simplifies to 1 15th of an hour, or 4 minutes round trip. Let's see how long the ascent on its own would take. We know that you went 15 miles per hour over 1 mile. To calculate the time, we would say that the time of the ascent equals 1 mile over 15 miles per hour, or 4 minutes. In case you haven't noticed, our time of the ascent equals the time of the round trip, which means we would have to go 1 mile downhill in 0 minutes. And as proved by e equals mc squared, you need an impossibly infinite amount of energy in order to move instantaneously. Therefore, this riddle is impossible.